same thing. Like, sine and tangent don't really make too much sense right now. So why don't I, now here's where a lot of people get confused. Like a lot of people always want to apply identities. So some people will be like, well, then I can rewrite this as 1 over cosecant of x over like 1 over cotangent of x. Now, does this make, does that work? Are those, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, but did that help me simplify this in any way? No. no. So what the hard part about this chapter is you have to be able to look ahead. You have to look, be able to look ahead and say, what is it I want to do? Well, I can see, guys, I really, tangent is a fraction. So I really have a fraction like in the denominator, right? That's really what I'm doing. I'm really taking like a number and dividing by a fraction. So again, to like better understand this, we can just rewrite this as sine of x over sine of x over cosine of x. And if I wanted to get rid of that fraction, I'd multiply by the reciprocal again. Now, again, you don't really need to show this work. I'm just showing it so you guys can see mathematically what I'm doing. And then this is really over 1, so what happens with the signs? You're just left with cosine of x. Okay, And again, that's what comes into this repeated repetition. You guys are going to start getting really, really good at this. And you're not going to have to write it out every single time.